Guys, so next you want to hit on this time only, guys. It will actually automatically boot up Minecraft for and we successfully imported our own shader class. everyone, Bye Bye is here today. Today we're actually going to be doing another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will show you guys step by step how to download shaders for Minecraft Poly Edition. This works the brand new update 1.14.60, but not only will it work for this update, it'll work for every single update of Minecraft. I'm talking about 0 0.15, 1 1.16, all the future updates that will come out. This will work. I did make a video just like this in January, early January, but the problem is it is kind of outdated now and I didn't really fully show things the way I wanted to but don't worry guys in this video I will show you guys a more in-depth tutorial with better explanations and all of that so in order to actually do this tutorial you will need uh, two apps you will need minecraft of course the paid version and you will also need ES file explorer now I know you can find this on the Google Play Store you can go ahead and go download it on the Google Play Store completely for free but I'm going to be using a different version of ES file explorer both of them work pretty much the same thing except the buttons are rearranged but for this video I'm going to be using the ES file explorer version that I'm personally most comfortable with which will be in the description down below guys I know that it may seem a little bit fishy from the link in the description but trust me it will not give you a virus literally hundreds of thousands of people have downloaded it and not a single one of them got a virus been my I'm your brother I'm here to help so all you need to do now is you need to get ES file explorer you can either get it on the Google Play Store or you can get it from the description down below I recommend getting it from the description down below because that is the one that I will be using for this tutorial before we get started make sure to leave a like subscribe hit that notification bell make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter for more updates on my life terminated channel future videos and overall just have a way to contact me anyways guys without further ado let's head on to the tutorial so the first step is actually finding one so I'm going to go to one of my old videos and I'm going to download one of my old packs so I'll be with you guys once I'm at the download link Anyways guys, you want to find any download link. Now, one website that I highly recommend is Mediafire. So Mediafire is the most safest and most easiest reliable website to use when it comes to downloading shaders or basically anything in general. So the reason why Mediafire is so good in my opinion is the fact that there's no like pop-ups and it will not give you a virus. Anyways guys, we're going to tap on one of these Mediafire links. Now, obviously, you can download text packs from something that is not Mediafire, but personally, for this uh, tutorial, I will be using a Mediafire link because I just think it is the most easiest to use. Anyways, guys, once you finally just tapped on uh, the uh, Mediafire link, it should take you over here, and all you want to do now is just download it. Keep in mind, you don't want to click on any of the ads because they may lead you to a virus, and also, the good thing about this website is you don't have to sign up for any type of uh, subscription. You don't have to pay for anything. It is completely for free. Some websites out there that literally make you pay a subscription just to get access to the links. Uh-uh, we're not going to do that in this channel. Anyways, guys, all you want to do now is you want to press the green button right over here. And it also tells you the amount of storage it takes up. So this uh, text pack that I will be downloading called RTX Beta V1.2 will take up about 2.9 megabytes. So all you want to do now is you want to press on the green button just like so. And it should download for you. It will tell you that the download has started and once it is finished it will tell you that it is finished in the uh, notification in the bottom anyways guys once that is completely finished uh like i said you can do this from any other website it's just that i chose mediafire for the video all you want to do now is you want to open up es file explorer all right boys so once you open up es file explorer you should be greeted with this screen right over here now i know it may be a little bit overwhelming at first guys but don't worry it is actually super easy and es file explorer is actually a really good app it is mainly for actually just organizing your phone and managing your storage but anyways guys in order to proceed to the next step for these shaders all you want to do now is you want to slide your screen to the left just like so until you see all of this so over here is just a lot of folders that your device contains but you don't have to worry about any of them i know it may be a little bit overwhelming guys but the only folder that you want to focus on is the one that says a download so we have a download folder right over here you want to press on the download folder just like so 
and then you will get basically everything that you have downloaded over the course of the time you had your phone. So as you can tell, we have all our files right here. I have a bunch of stock footage, thumbnails, and uh, just images for other channels. But anyways guys, next we want to find the shader that we downloaded. So as you all know, we downloaded a shader called RTX Beta V1.2 MC Pack. So just make sure to go search for that. You can go over here to the magnifying glass and search it. But luckily, I do see it right over here. So just in case you can't find it, then of course you can always just use a magnifying glass and find it easily. Anyways guys, now now the next step that you actually want to do is you want to make sure that uh, this right over here, your text pack, ha actually has like a paper on it, like the icons of paper with a question mark on it. And as you can tell, we actually do have that. So things will be a little bit easier for us. I understand that some of you guys might have a different type of icon. Some of you may have like a folder with a zip on it and that is super easy to handle or just any other type of file. Anyways guys, in order to make sure that you have an MC pack, AKA the icon with the paper and the question mark, because keep in mind, this will only work if you have the paper with the question mark on it. Now in order to actually get this, no matter what type of file you have, all you want to do is just long press it, go to rename, and just make sure the ending says MC pack. So as you can tell, it says a dot MC pack just like so. And just make sure that it says MC pack. This is super important. Let me tell you guys again, make sure it says MC pack. Anyways guys, once you have double checked that it says MC pack, you can now proceed to the next step. So the next and final step of actually completing this tutorial guys, is you want to long press on it just like so. And make sure that there is a green little check mark over there. And now the next step guys is you want to go to the three dots over here where it says more just like so and then you want to go on this option where it says open as so all you want to do now is you want to hit on open as so once you hit on open as you will get a bunch of options text audio video image and other just make sure to actually press on all make sure that you pick on other just like so and as you can tell minecraft automatically selected for us but if it's your first time using the app you will have to scroll down and find minecraft and basically all you want to do is just find minecraft tap on it and you should be good but guys i already use this app already so minecraft is automatically selected for us anyways guys now the next step is to actually hit on this time only or always it doesn't really matter but for the purposes of this video i'm going to hit on this time only guys guys it will actually automatically boot up minecraft for us and as you can tell it will say that the import has started and we successfully imported our own shader guys this is not clickbait at all guys now in order to actually activate it guys all you want to do is you want to go over here on this button where it says settings then you want to scroll down to where it says global resources and then you want to go on this tab right over here where it says my packs just like so and then your pack should be there it will tell you the amount of storage it takes up so this pack in particular takes up about 2.9 megabytes worth of storage so the next thing you want to do is you want to press on it just like so and it will give you an option to activate it to your minecraft game so just make sure to hit on activate just like so double check over here on active that your shader is uh, there so as you can tell we have our shader over here so we are good anyways guys the next and final step is to go exit out of your settings and you will notice that everything is completely changed and that your shaders is there just wait a little bit as you can tell guys our whole entire menu changed we just installed this shaders guys i'm gonna go to cryptic smp just to show you guys that this is actually legit and that i was not clickbaiting or anything like that guys but this is honestly so cool i just absolutely love shaders now the reason i did make this video is because in literally every single shader video i made i always have so many people commenting like oh how do i download shaders how do i download shaders well i decided to finally deliver on that rather popular question because i just want to help you guys i want to make sure that you guys get the best experience out of minecraft guys so like i said if you actually want to get some more shaders because this one's it's a good shaders don't get me wrong but i have shown off way better shaders on my channel then feel free to look at my top five videos and just a bunch of other shader videos that i do make look at the water yo the water on these shaders looks so amazing i absolutely love it guys and guys, not only did I show you how to download shaders, but I also showed you how to download add-ons, guys. That is right. Using the same method, you could actually download add-ons as well. If you don't know what add-ons are, there are basically mods for Minecraft. I did make a whole separate video 
on that a while ago so you can go feel free to watch that one because I do go more in depth with that one so feel free to go watch that video then come right back to this one because you don't want to miss this amazing tutorial either anyways guys that is pretty much it for this video if this video did help you out in any way shape or form make sure to leave a like subscribe hit that notification bell make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter for more updates on my life to make it a channel future videos and overall just have a way to contact me if at any point in this video i was going too fast or something i said didn't make any sense then feel free to rewind the video pause it or just go in the comment section down below and ask me a question i'll be more than happy to answer it anyways guys please like comment and subscribe stay safe out there see you later french fries Thanks.